teaching that Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters. This is the high priest, L.D. Smith, the watching on the wall. Family, as always, grab that King James, but first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the whole family. Israel, our family, that being said, we're going to move on to our lesson. And as always, the most I have given us a fine, fine teaching. And family, um, I had a little uh, a little cold that I'm trying to get over. And that that's why you may hear it in my voice a little bit. But nevertheless, we're going to press on. All praise, all praise. Now, family, I always ask you guys to read along with me. I ask you guys to think about the reading. Listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. And I know that the most I will give you a clear understanding. And that being said, um, I think I named this one. Um, something uh, along the lines of um, the Most High Kingdom ruled over all. And see, family, um, we're we just going to talk about that for a minute, and then we're going to get into our, our lesson. Because I want you to get in the frame of mind that everything that the Most High has said is going to come to pass. Everything that every word that has came out of uh, out of out of his mouth is going to transpire. And family, what you have to understand is. Yes, we are going into some uh, to a a, a a a a critical time now. Yes, yes, there is that there is something on the horizon. The high priest don't know what it is, but the high priest does know that it's trouble. There's trouble on the horizon. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a, a little brief um uh uh, uh 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 overview of what happened uh uh a couple of nights ago. Um, uh, the most I came to me um. On the last watch, and the last watch is from three o'clock to six in the morning, and the most I showed me something like a cup, and it had writing on it, something like this cup right here, and it had a line that divided the cup in half, and up here around this area here, it, the words was written. It was a red cup, and the words were written in black. It says, "Warn my people." Now down here it has some writing also, but family, I don't know what it, you know, I don't know what it was. I mean, I can't remember what it was, even though uh, I I could see the letters, and it, it's not that I could not pronounce the letters, but it's like I saw it, but I didn't see it. If that makes any sense to you at it at all, I'm, I'm trying to explain, you know. So here's 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 the cup. It was like a cup. Now, you hear what I'm saying? Maybe he does not want us to know what's what's down here on the bottom, but I do know what's on the top. He said, "Warn my people." And see, family, this is what this is. See, we're almost at the end of our journey. See, at every end there is a beginning. And we have a new beginning, and it's it's right on the horizon. But we're going to have some trying times. We're going to have some troublesome times. But most of all, we're not going through this by, uh, by ourselves. We're going through it with him because he, he is with us, okay? So you don't have to fret. You don't have to worry. But like I said, all of you guys got food. You got water stored up. Oh, that's good. When all this stuff starts to happening, remember, he said, close your door, go into your chamber, right? Until his indignation has passed over. See, so what's going to transpire, all, all the trouble is, he's going to bring it. So all we do is go inside and we mind our own business. We close our door and whatever happens outside, that's their business. It's not ours. Because why? I told you to get your food. I told you to get your water. Uh, you got your supplies, you know, if you need it, you know, to uh, uh, stop someone from coming in your house. You have that, right? I, I know you do because I told you. I told you to. So if you was obedient, I know you have that. But I'm letting you know. See, because the most I says he will not do anything until he tells what? His servant, his prophet first. Then, then he once they once you're warned, you know it's coming. It's coming. So, that being said, we're gonna go into our teaching. Okay, I just I just want to to, to put that you know in you guys you know uh, uh, ear hole so that you guys will know you know what I know. I'm sharing it with you, so you know trouble is coming. 
Hard times is coming. Hardship is coming. Calamity is coming. So, okay, let's go into our teaching. But we got to trust the Most High God. Now, now, uh, we we know that the, that the Most High rules in everything. Am I right? Yes, I'm right. Now, we're going to go to the book of Ezekiel. Let's go there real quick now. We're going to, uh, we're going to go to Ezekiel 33. Now, but, uh, because this, this is, this is, this is where it, it, it all starts. This is where, where, where it all started, right here. This is where it started. This, see, because everyone that the Most High called, he gave them an assignment. He gave them a message. And this is the message that he gave me. Go to my people. So here I am. Ezekiel 33, let's look at verses 17, 18, and 19. Ezekiel 33 said, Yet the children of that people say, Why the Lord is not equal? But as for them, their ways are not equal. When the righteous turneth from his righteousness and commit iniquity, he shall, he shall even die thereby. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby. See that? See, this is the message to we his people. See, because the wicked, the wicked, the one that is not doing these the, the, these two tablets and, and all the other laws, huh? And statutes and judgments. See, you you may think that you're right, but you but you're not. That's why we gotta go back. We uh listen, this thing was handed down from generation to generation. I know that the elders was uh, killed off and whatnot, but now he had raised up a high priest. One to come and to tell his people what we got to go back. And you got to see what was passed down from generation to generation to generation so that we can line back up with his word. But now let us go here now. You see he, he's saying here about the law. He said, uh, verse 19 says, but if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful, talking about the law, ain't right. See, we, we had structure. We had guidelines. We are the only people that, that had that. Nobody else had it. See, so he shall live thereby. This word is life. This word is going to keep us. That's what's going to keep us. That's where Joshua says, the book of the law, this law, shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate day and night therein to do according to that which is written. See? You have to want to do that which is right, that, that which is written in this book. Now let's go to Psalms. Psalms, uh, let's go to Psalms 90. Now let's look at that, Psalms 90. We're going to look at verses, um, uh, let's look at Psalms 90, uh, well, let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's look at Psalms 90. We'll go there real quick. Psalms 90, let's get that. Now, we're going to show you here. Psalms 90, let's look at verses 1 and 2. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. See that? Do you see that? That's, that's a place of safety. Our ancestors said that, say what? Lord, you has been our dwelling place in all generations. Why? Because it was handed down. It was taught that the Most High, he is our God. Huh? As they say, you know, in nowadays, uh, I'm rocking with this one. I'm rocking with that one. No, no, no. No, Israel always, huh? was supposed to be rocking with the Most High. Mm -hmm. Until they got out there and started looking at others and then start worshiping other gods. But see, we got to get back to only rocking with the Most High. And all these others, Jesus and all, uh, 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 Allah and all these others, you got to leave those alone because there's only one true and living God. I don't care. And see, let me tell y'all something. 
If I had not had the experiences that I have had with them, you know, with the most high, you know, then I, I could be persuaded, you know, to go another way. But see, but I have had personal experiences with him. I have heard the voice of the most high God. Huh? Not once, but on several occasions. And then he did not call me by no Hebrew name. He called me Larry. That's what he addressed me by. Larry. What do you want? And I told him. And it happened. And how it happened, I have no idea even to this day. All I know is that it took place. But let us look here. He says, before the mountains were brought forth, even, or even thou had, had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. See? You see that? This is the frame of mind that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get all of us into. See, away with all the other stuff. You can't think, you know, about, well, you know, I think, forget about that. Forget about that bullshit. Think about this. God, the most high, he is God. And leave it as that. You want to be a servant? Okay, well, I'm going to do everything you say do. I want to do it. See, that's the attitude that you got to have. You want to be a servant? Okay, well, I am a servant. A servant does what? Serve and does exactly what the individual asked him to do. And most of all, he says, do not have any other gods before me. That's what, I mean, honestly, we have to look at that. I am a servant of the Most High, and I'm going to do. I'm going to do what he, 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 he have commanded us to do. And see, you will have no problem. Because if you love him, even though you may not understand what he's doing, you still love him. You still love him, and you still gonna obey him. See, because that's why you see, you know, young individuals who who have they call puppy love, and you look at them, and then one can be treating the other one so bad, and then you you. You say, I don't understand why they stay, why they stay with him. And then you keep on talking back and forth and say, well, you know, you know, she love him. She love him. That's why. See, love will make you stay and do whatever it takes. See, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter what you face, well, what you are facing, you, love will make you stay there. See, so if you love the most high, oh, I don't care what, what's transpired. You can, you can be going down. Say, Lord, I love you. I'm trusting you, Lord. It could seem like this is the last breath. Say, Lord, I'm trusting you. Lord, I love you. See? That's how you should feel. That's how you should, should commit yourself. See, because if you are committed, if you are really truly committed to the most high God, ain't nothing gonna phase you. It's not. But but see, when you are committed and then you know that He ruleth, His kingdom ruleth everything. What what do you have to lose? I'm asking. When you trust the most high with all that you have, even though if you're going down, what do you have to lose? You may tell you, nothing. You know why? Because naked you came into this world, and what? Naked shall you leave out of this world. See, you didn't bring nothing in here. So how can you lose something? You can't get attached to something that doesn't belong to you. But what you need to be attached to is that which belongs to you. And that's him. He said, he said, they are my people and I will be their God. Get, be attached to that. And not the things that you see. Do you hear what I'm saying? 
when you get attached to 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 that which is yours, that's why we can say that uh, he's our God. Get attached to that. Don't get attached to what you see and what you hear and what you smell. Why? Because it's irrelevant. It is not real. But what's real is the Most High God because everything you see, smell, and taste, that can change. But he won't. Huh? So we can see here, though. Now, he, he is from everlasting to everlasting. Thou art what? God. So, family, we're going to close there. All praise. All praise. And uh, we're going to uh, come together. Uh, but let me uh, let me do this other one here. Let me. We got. Yeah, we got time. Look, look, look what he says. Um, verse 3 says. Thou turnest man to destruction. And say, return ye children of men. See that? Look what he say. Return. See that? Return ye. We belong to him. See that? When you die, you turn back into what? That powder. Dust. And then he said, return ye, ye children of men. Now, look what he says. For a thousand years in, in, in thy sight are but as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. That's why he's from eternity to eternity. He's God. And he's God all by himself. All praise. All praise. Okay, family, now we're going to close out there. We're going to come together. On the count of three, all right? One, two, three. One word, one God, one people, one love. All praise, family. Remember now, go back over the videos, all right? Ponder with it. Want you guys think about it. Read it, listen to it over and over. We love you from over here that, at the high piece of the whole house of Israel. Until next time, we say what? Shalom, we love you. Just to be alive in the be days to come when you want to quit it and there be days ahead that you won't finish and there be days and nights when you feel alone because your loved ones did done